Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm uh, have a little bit of a different setup. I have like a ring light, and in the middle is like my camera, so it's kind of weird to me. But I woke up to my glam bag X. You guys can see this. So yeah, I should probably go back a little bit. But so this one is with about face or Halsey. I I don't know honestly. I want to say it's with Halsey, but it could be also with about face. Not 100% sure. And also like my new tripod. Or my new ring light, I can like adjust the brightness, which is cool. Sorry. But I haven't opened it yet, so I'm just gonna open it. I'm not gonna show you because it has my address on that side. And I have to go back for work, so yeah. This is what the little like magazine guy looks like. I think this is like a third one we've gotten so far. Um, it just says what's in it, who it's with, um, and all that fun stuff. It has like prices in it as well. And like the stuff you could have gotten. So yeah. First thing I see, okay, it's like already kind of open. It's kind of weird, but okay. Is a mascara by Fenty Beauty. Uh, I'm not gonna open it just because I have like ten mascaras already open that I want to get through first before I try any new ones. But I feel like I might actually have one of these already. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Okay, the next thing is by About Face of Her Brand. It's a light lock highlight some kind of highlighter and i'm always confused by this packaging do you open it like this or do you pull it like here like i'm always confused probably more confused than i should be okay hello the lid just came off so this is what it looks like it's very like mirror mirrory that's how you say it i don't know kind of annoying that this doesn't like stay on though like, I don't really get why you have it but it's very bulky I don't personally care for that but um it kind of reminds me of like wet and wild had wet and wild had it it was called like halo glow or something like that but that's what it looks like I don't really use liquid highlighter personally. It's not 2017 anymore. Next thing is by Glow Recipe. It's a watermelon glow hydronomy clay. I feel like. Do I have this? No. I don't think so. Does it actually smell like watermelon? I don't know. Eh, kinda. I don't know if it actually smells like watermelon, or if it's just like my brain telling me it smells like watermelon. Okay, the next thing is by Emerald Herbivore. I don't know. It's something. We've been getting a lot of skincare stuff lately. It's kind of annoying me. Like, in, in, in my preferences, I say no skincare. But this is a hemp seed uh, deep moisturizer glow oil. Okay. Is it your face, or...? Okay. So you just put it on your face and neck, I guess. And it's like a deep, hydrating thing. That's cool, I guess. Okay, the next thing is by... Laneige? Something? Why is there so much, like, skincare stuff? This is annoying me. It's a lip mask. Which I think I actually chose this. Oh, it comes with... Oh, that's cute. It comes with this, like, little guy. I can actually, like, get it out. Ugh. It's like a silicone applicator. I kind of just wish you could, like, stick it in here, personally. I mean, it's like... Can you? I guess you could, but I'm just going to leave it like that. It's my product, not yours. <laughs> so, there's a... Uh, the next thing is by Kiss My or Ruan or I, I don't I don't know truthfully. Oh, it's lipstick. It's in the shade Charlie. Okay, it's like a nudish color. It's like an air bubble in it, which is kind of weird. And this is also kind of weird, but I'm gonna take this off real fast. I'm just gonna like apply it really fast. It smells minty, so I feel like it might be plumping. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but it it smells minty. So I feel like it might be plumping, and I can't see anything, so yeah, okay, probably a bad job, I don't care. Okay, the next thing is by Tarte, it's a clay pot waterproof eyeliner, 
What? Okay, y'all. I want y'all to see something. Because I haven't tried any of the product yet. So, it's this big of a box. This is the product. Like, why? Why? Why do you need this big of a box for this smaller product? Like, you could you could just, like, is it just for this stupid, like, stuff to be like, oh, this is, this, 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 and this, like, why? Just why? Oh my god. It's an eyeliner, I guess. It sounds like eyeliner, but it feels more like a cream eyeshadow. Okay, the last thing, oh, last thing is by Arthur Beauty. It's an eyeshadow palette. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Okay. Um, it's diff- it has a weird packaging, like, you have to, like, push- you have to, like, go like that and put it in. There's no mirror, but that's fine, I guess. But this is the color story, I guess, um, okay. It's a color story, I suppose. Did I choose this? Okay. I'm honestly surprised they, like, I was gonna wait until, like, a few days to put all the products on, but there's legit only, like, three things I could put on, so I already have the lip on, which, it's definitely plumping, like, it just feels plumping. But I guess, but I guess I could do this, I guess? There's not that many mats in here, so, should be fun. So I think I'm just gonna take... I don't know, that blue shade right there. I guess I have to keep this in here for when I actually know the name, which kind of is annoying. But I'm gonna take Ritual, I think, and put it on the lid, and I'm not using a primer because I don't want to. Okay, now I'm just going to take the Eclipse shade and put it on the outer corner. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I did a different look on this side, and I, I wish I didn't. So I took, um, I took Spirit and put it on the lid, and then I took Moonchild and then put it, like, on the, there. And I took Inside and put it on. Um, how do I say this in a nice way? If this palette was more than like, let's say, $10, I would ask for your money back. Because it's the packaging is cheap, The f there's a bunch of kickback on it, it doesn't blend that well. Um, like, this eye, I used two different colors, and it looks like I just used one color. Um... So, I feel like I have better shades than this. But let's get into some prices. I'm gonna put my glasses on, cause I can't see. Okay. So, I got this guy. And it retails for $32, apparently. Okay, and then this guy, 17 retails for $22 also. This lip guy, I believe it's this one, retails for uh, $26 somehow. This Tarte guy, the eyeliner, retails for $21, okay. No, no, that is fake, no. No. This is $58. Sorry, camera cut me off. $58? For this? 
No. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. How? How? I just want to know how. This guy retails for $40. This guy oh gosh, retails for uh, $48. And the mascara re what the fuck? Oh, the mascara retails for $24. I'm just still shocked. Oh, also, I don't I think this came with something. I don't know. I just found it. I just can't get over the fact that this is 58 doll hairs. How? The quality on it sucks. Like, I thought we were going to get, like, a full face of, like, about face. Not just, what I think, not just a highlighter. I thought we were going to get, like, lips, eyes, brows. I don't even know what she has. Not this stuff, like... I, I kind of was expecting, like, how BoxyCharm and, um, like, what was it, last month, the premium was BoxyCharm X on a Star Beverly Hills, and we got, like, all these, like, ABH stuff. I think it was ABH, at least. But this month, I'm just kind of like, oh. But, like, th three of the shades, maybe four. Like, these shades, like, right here, if you guys can even see them, like, pastel. Okay, fine, whatever. And this is just, like, deeper look, so, like, I just, I just don't get it at all. Like, it feels like cheap material, like, cheap product, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, I feel personally like I could go to CoverGirl and get a palette that's better quality than this. And I guess not cover girl or whatever is it like cruelty free vegan or whatever crap. But this just ain't it, sis. Like, I'm swatching it and like the purple swatched pretty nice. <sighs> like, would I use this palette again? Probably. Maybe. And I feel like I look really white right now. I feel like I look very pale. Do I? Let's turn the brightness down a little bit. Is that better? Who knows? I don't know. I can't. I don't care. But, like, looking at the swatches, I'm very unimpressed. Like, like this swatched horribly, and I was using my good hand, and this, like, the dark swatched, I feel like a lot better. Um, I just don't honestly know. Like, this bluish purple like eggplant purple shade didn't swatch the best but this purple shade right there the shade manifest that's actually a pretty cute color the only thing i would change is i wish there's like some orange in there so it's like kind of duochrome or whatever or multichrome i would not in a million years pay 58 dollars for this there's a little thing on here it says Hello, beautiful... Man. Okay, I understand why there's no mirror now. I actually read, and I understand why there's not a magnet. So, if you're still watching, which you probably aren't, I understand, so, like, once you're, like, you can, like, depot this, I guess, or once you're done with it, you can just, like, kind of toss it in your recycling bin. Uh, I get that, but it's, like, I wouldn't pay 58 dollars like am i just like a like a prude is that the right word where it's like i would never if you were to be like hey give me 50 dollars i'd be like no <laughs> like i wouldn't give you 58 dollars for this and plus i think of shipping and handling that's another like probably 10 so it's gonna be like 65 80 dollars 60 70 dollars for this palette no I would much rather, I'm going to regret saying this, I would much rather buy a Jeffree Star palette than this palette. Because they're essentially the same price, I feel like. Like Too Faced, uh, ABH even. You have more colors and better quality. Profusion, uh, Maybelline. <laughs> like, $15, I could go to L'Oreal and get a nude palette. 
for like 15 or 11 dollars you know but this is just like oh you didn't want to rethink anything no you're happy okay i do want to try the eyeliner though just because like so all the eyeliners that I've tried are like hard, and this isn't hard as a rock, so it's like really soft. So I'm just using this like little brush guy. I'm gonna try and apply it to this eye. Okay, so I have it on this eye. Um, it's not the worst thing, but it's not like the best. Uh, I honestly forget about Tarte as a brand. Yeah, like I don't hate it. Like I do like it because since it is like this kind of like uh rose goldy kind of color it works with this one like this side because it like blends kind of in with it you know and on this side it kind of like adds a pop to the look you know but i think what i would probably honestly use this the most for is like inner corner or just all over the lid honestly i don't know i don't know the formula let me put it in the inner corner real fast yeah like it's it's nice for an inner corner actually i don't hate it it adds like that nice little like like a uh, reflecty kind of guy but uh looking at the stuff i got i'm honestly very unimpressed like i'm confused as to why i got so much skincare even though literally in my thing it says no skincare please like i don't get it like i guess i didn't try this but i feel like this is more of a body thing than a face I just don't get this component either. It's like you have to take it off and then I just don't get that. I'm gonna use this brush to like blend it out, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna even work. Cause the one thing I noticed with this kind of highlighter is that like maybe it's just me, but whenever I use it, if you like look straight on forward, there's always like a like darker like shadow to it. So it's like, ooh yeah, yeah, in the light, but if you're like looking just straight on. You can just like see like orange you know what i mean but this doesn't look like that i do need to clean this eye up just because yeah um yeah but that palette there's just a bunch of kickback in the pan and it's just kind of like it feels like claire's makeup or icy makeup if you ask me but i need to take uh my medicine so i'm gonna head out um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, comment, turn on post notifications if you like, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!